Yo guys, it's Slyro, you already know that today we are back playing some more Elden Ring. Uh, today, we are not in Dragon Barrel, like where I left the last episode off, uh, because we have some unfinished business in uh, the eternal city of Nakron. Um, first off, there is a Site of Grace that I missed, and there's also something very important past that Site of Grace, um, and it might be uh, Lutel's, you know, final... Uh, we, we might not see her again, because we are about to get um, what is infamously the best... Uh, ashes uh, in the game um, I think we shall find out by testing it ourselves um, but the mimic tier ashes are something that we can do we fought a mimic tier right there that took the shape of us um, and I would like to get them uh, and use them because I think it would be really good there's also another boss in this area that is hiding uh, in a different direction so I do want to go to that as well uh, so that is the plan so hopefully I, I did look up where the uh, mimic tier ashes are, so I'm hoping that I can find them without too much trouble. Actually, shoot, I did not think about it. Uh, I was going to check before starting this recording, because you need a stone sword key, and I don't think I have one. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, change of plans on the fly. Well, I'm still going to go get the Sight of Grace, and then... Oh, dang it, I don't know where to find a Stone Sword key. Shoot, that really sucks. Um, but there's this, like, path back here uh, that leads to a Sight of Grace. Um, right here. And so I could have been using this instead of running across the bridge to, uh, you know, do my business here. There's also this little summoning thing. Should I explore around this area just to see if I can find a stone sword key? Or should I just, like, quickly look it up? Um, I'm really just thinking under pressure here. I think I will pause the video and look up where the closest stone sword key I can get is. Okay, I did a little bit of research. I don't know if this is going to help me find uh, a stone sword key. Uh, I just wanted to see if there was any, like, in this location at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go towards the the boss of this area that we did not do yet. And we are going to explore more that way. I don't exactly know where uh, it is. I know it's... Mm, shoot, it isn't the Hollowhorn Grounds. How do I get to where I want to go? Is it more this way or is it more the other way? Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more places this way. There's, like, a path that's, like, through this jellyfish, and then past here, I haven't really, uh, seen much past this. Because I just looked up to see if there was any bosses, and then when there was, I was like, oh, well, how do you get to it? Uh, so, do you jump down here? I don't know, but I'm going to. And if this doesn't lead to progress, that is fine. I still got a stone sword key. Let's go. Alright, I think we should do... Actually, because it's that... I was going to say we should just go immediately right back, but I think there's a set of grace right here. I just see the glow. Oh, that's the that's the glow of the jellyfish. I probably should have just left the jellyfish alone. Because now they're all angry at me. But I do think that there might be a... a set, yeah, there's a set of grace right up here. I'm glad I kept going. Because then I can just teleport back here and I don't need to go through any enemies. I don't need to find the path again. I can just uh, come back here. Alright, so now I have a stone sword key. I have the ability... To come to these, I think this is um, the lakeside, or what is this called? Aqueduct facing cliffs. Uh, so there is more area stuff this way, uh, and a boss this way. So we will do that, but first I do want to go get these uh, mimic tier ashes. So now that we have a stone sword key, that is going to be important. We can explore this part over here, and then we can go back. So alright, we got a plan now. So I, I have nothing against looking up uh, you know, where bosses might be, and where important items might be, so, uh, but I've been very, very transparent, and I don't really know much past this. Right here? I think we can probably walk along here. Yeah, okay, and then we can go down here. Yeah, 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 this all looks right. So I'm just going to sort of explore this area, um... I've watched the, the walk from that side of grace to where the Mimic Tier Ashes are, but I have not really seen if there is more to this area, which I assume there is. 
So, got a rune arc. I could probably, what, jump over there? Is that where I want to go? I'm going to try it. Okay, okay. I think... Is this where I want to go? Then there's a roof there. Oh, gosh. Someone died. Alright, I've immediately become lost. I was looking for, like, wait, which is the way to the Mimic Tear Ashes? Like, I don't actually know. Uh, if I don't find them on my own, I don't find them on my own, and I will I will look them up. But I will definitely make sure that there is enough content for a full uh, episode that is worth going up on YouTube. So, don't you worry. I will try to jump over here. Oh, I really thought... Uh, okay, so don't go that way. Good to know, good to know. Let's go back then. Every jump is just, like, me asking to die, essentially, because, like, there's so many bad things that could happen. Uh, I guess I go down here? And there's going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I mean, I see that pair. I have eyes. So, let's... Oh, gosh. I don't know what effect that was, but... Oh, hello. Oh, it's over here. Can I please get one of these counterattacks off? You are nothing. Take that. Do you give me anything? Uh, there. I got some runes from you. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Hair ahead. Where's the other one? Ooh, a level 7 golden rune? That's pretty sick. Something on the ground here. We have dragon. There ain't no dragon over here. At least I hope not. Yeah, I'm not confident that I'm going the right way anymore uh, for, for the Mimic Tear Ashes. At this point, I'm just sort of exploring. Anything here? No item ahead? Okay. Good to know. We are going to... What's over this way? Nothing in here. Not here. Okay. Looks like we're just going down. I actually think this is, like, not the way. I'm gonna have to probably look up where the Mimic Tear are again. Because I don't think it's down here. But, uh, we will keep going this way. Just to see what there is. I don't... Wait, where am I? That's down. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff down there. I guess we don't bother with that for now, because I can't make that drop. I can come in here, I think. Okay, so let's go this way. Uh, let's drop in here. What's in here? Okay, there was a blood stain. Maybe someone just took too much damage and died. Interesting. Alright, so there's stuff in there. Oh, gosh. Oh, that looks awful. I should probably heal. Oh, Black Whip Blade. This actually looks like maybe this is the right way to go. Oh, it's right here. You know, I should have healed and then killed that thing, and I would have gotten my healing back. But, uh, I guess I was not smart enough for that. Alright, so here is the treasure that we have come for. Yes, use the Stone Sword Key that we got. We gotta sneak up on this man. You'll never hear me come in. Oh, get one shot. I definitely thought that he was going to be a lot stronger. Uh, but he was not. Uh, and inside we find the treasure that we have been looking for. We got some Mimic Tear Ashes. Uh, and how the Mimic Tear Ashes work is they do essentially copy um, your, your stats and whatnot. Um, and they cost 660 HP, not FP. Uh, so I assume that the Mimic has that much HP, I don't entirely know. Um, but it will use whatever weapon you have equipped, it will use whatever consumables you have equipped. Um, it'll have the amount that you have equipped, I think, I don't know. I, I don't really know exactly how it works in practice, but I know how it works in theory. So, we have uh, a new set of Ashes to use. I will, I will equip it. Um, I will probably, whatever runes I get from here, I will... See if I can improve the Mimic Tear Ashes. But let's make a little bit more progress. There is uh, some scary looking stuff down this way. I don't... I don't like that there's a ball. Is that ball going to attack me? 
Why can't I target lock onto a ball? Oh my gosh. No, don't roll on top of me. No, 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 no. You're gonna get us both killed. You fool! This is the scariest enemy of all time. Giant ball. Oh, hello. Ow. No, no, no. Can you give me time to heal? Thank you. Okay, there we go. There we go. See, you're not even scary. You don't even stagger me. Alright, as long as you give me runes that I'm going to need, and a larval tier. We have so many larval tiers, I'm really thinking that we should consider respecking our um, our stats. I, I want to look into it. I should probably do research before mm, the next episode, maybe. Um, I really am considering tr like just respecting so I can try this Ruins Greatsword to see if the weapon art is like worth using. Um, and if I just kind of respec into like having more intelligence, this could be doing a lot of damage. But I don't know if it's worth using or not, so I don't know if I want to look into it or if I just want to like respec and try. Um, I need more strength anyway, so I guess maybe that's not something that I'll, I will do immediately. But, uh, you know, it is something. I'm going to go touch this side of Grace really quick. Okay. Uh, and, wow, there's a summoning thing here. Interesting, interesting. But then... You can just go this way. No. Oh! So do they mimic into you if you don't kill them in time? Or mimic into something if you don't kill them in time? What it seems like. Uh, no, okay, they, they don't all morph into something. Sometimes they just stay as they are. Unless only one of them... Nope, nope. I was say, unless only one of them can be transformed at a time, but that is not the case. There we go. Like, all of my stuff was just, like, going through them. Okay, you got nothing. I mean, y'all are not really threats. Especially not if you die in one hit. More, more golden runes that I can consume if need be. One of these... Oops. Ooh. Got it just in the nick of time. I was like, one of these is going to morph into something, like, strong. Or maybe not. Maybe they all just miss me. Okay, what about you? What do you do? Oh, gosh! I called it. Hi. Alright, let's at least get it full health. I mean, you shouldn't be, like, a scary enemy, but, like... Ah, uh, you have a decent chunk of health. Make sure that we don't fall off the edge. I forget if there's a... Yeah, there's a way to fall off on that side. But... Oh, I really thought I had that. Not the sword, not the sword, not the sword. I am really risking all my stamina. That was so mistimed. Oh, but you're like... You don't even have much health left. Man, remember when these things used to be threats? Look at how far we've come. Oh, yeah. I don't even need to do the special attack. I can just go for that. Nice and clean 2,000 runes. Well, more than that. Silver tier husk for whatever that does. I think it's a crafting material that I'm probably not using. But, you know, it is what it is. We got the satisfaction of victory, and honestly, that's more important anyway. Why is there a message here? No item ahead? I wasn't going to think that there was. I guess it looks like you can run across that wall, but I would not have tried. Okay, what is up here? A portal to another world. Oh boy. Let's see what this is about first. Only had a key. You need a key? You don't need a key. Finger Slayer Blade? And a great ghost glove work. Okay. Uh, so what is... Oh, wait. First off, the bolstering materials. Is that new? 
Oh, that lets the uh, Strength and Renown add to plus 10. Oh, I already have one. Interesting. I don't remember having that. And what is the Finger Slayer Blade? Is it not actually a, a weapon? Interesting. Interesting choice uh, of words. Is it a... a Hmm. I mean, it wouldn't be there. I don't think this would be a tool. I'm thinking it could be a talisman? Uh. No. What? That said Figure Slayer Blade or whatever, right? I, I'm doing a Google search because I can't find it in my inventory. What is a Finger Slayer Blade? Finger Slayer Blade. What? What is it? It's a key item. Okay, actually I might want to keep that page up because it says it's required or something. Although I could probably read an item description. Uh, key item, key item, key item. That is not what I would have expected. What do we need it for? Hidden treasure, the eternal city of Nakron. This bludgeon fetish is proof of high treason committed by the eternal symbol symbolized downfall. Cannot be loaded by those without a fate. Okay, well, yeah, what do you need it for? Uh, oh, I guess you need it to progress Ronnie's quest line. Um, so I guess it's good that we have it. I don't know that we are... <clears throat> I don't know if we're doing a good job progressing Ronnie's quest line or not. I legitimately have no clue. Uh, but we have it. Um, I'm gonna regret doing this, but I'm gonna travel to another location. I don't know where this is gonna take me. Uh, oh. Right back here. I'm assuming that means that I made it to the end of that spot, because I'm back up here now. Uh, so if that is the case, I'm going to go to the round table hold. I probably need more runes than this, but I do want to, uh, start improving my Mimic Tier Ashes. With the, with the Mimic Tier Ashes, I know that you can do some funky stuff and, like, change out your loadout, summoning the Mimic Tier, and then, like, change it to what you have. So if I wanted to, like, equip a Mimic Tier Ashes with, like, spells or something, like, I could. I'm not going to bother doing any of that, but if you guys have any fun combinations of stuff that you want me to try, I'm absolutely open to listening. Uh, but I just don't think that I am that creative enough uh, for right now to think of anything other than just doing it straight up. And this uses just Ghost Glove Wart. Um, and the, I shouldn't say just uses Ghost Glove War, but the, the rune requirement is not as much as I expected. So, okay. Um, we'll kind of keep the Mimic Tier Ashes at plus four, and we'll just kind of level it up as we, uh, as we do. So we can go back to here. We're going to go to the Ancestral, no, no, no. The Aqueduct Facing Cliffs. And we're going to explore this side of Nakron and see if we can find the, the big boss. Uh, I do know what the other boss in Nakron is. Um, I don't know how it fights. So that will be a surprise, but I do know what it is. But I'm still very scared of it. And uh, hopefully we have good, you know, powerful Mimic Tear Ashes ready to fight it. Because that would be lovely. Um, I will also have to see if maybe I want to change... The Cerulean Tears, because if I don't even need the Cerulean Tears to summon a, uh, a a summons, then I probably don't really need this many Cerulean Flasks, because, like, I'm not really using the weapon art that much. So, you know. Alright, so for Aqueduct. Oh, you look scary. Of course I'm going to come fight you. But you're going to come in here. Oh gosh. I was gonna say, is this a Crucible Knight? It's a Crucible Knight. Okay. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Ow. Why did I willingly go out of my way to fight a Crucible Knight? No! Okay, uh, I think that's a net gain in health. Yeah, yeah, we're not gaining, we're not gaining. 
That's fire. That's fire. You can go through walls? Oh, that's... I was gonna say that's not fair, but, like... What about this fight right here is, is fair on either side? We're both attacking through this wall. <laughs> and I'm just kind of going in blindly, hoping. <laughs> Alright, well, it worked out for me. Crucible Horn Shield. Alright, so I got a pretty sick shield, I guess. I don't know that I'll use it. I guess I'll look at it. Crucible Horn Shield. It's a great shield, so it is heavier. Uh, but it is a good shield. So if you need a good shield, there you go. But I like the shield I have. Alright, is there another direction to go, or was that the only place I had to go? Uh, liar. Okay. So there's nothing there. There is a way that way. Alright, so let's see what the Crucible Knight was guarding, and if it is worth anything. I'll get myself full health, just in case there are more enemies this way. Could just be an item. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Be wary of lift. There's no lift here, right? Oh, missionary's cookbook. Yeah, there's no lift. Okay, it just looks like it. Alright, so it's just a cookbook. Um... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to use it, but I am curious what the missionary cookbook lets me do. And I went the long way to find it. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missionary's cookbook 5. What, is, what do we get? Sacred Order Pot. Is that just, like, a pot that does holy damage? That's actually not that bad. That could end up being useful. As we've seen with the uh, with the halberd, I do think holy damage is probably pretty good against a lot of enemies. So honestly, that was maybe worth it actually. Oh hello, there is someone scary up there. But we face our fears, and we will fight. Surely you can't hear me splashing water behind you. Everybody stay calm. No! That was so annoying. Oh gosh, what are you? Uh, this is madness? I'm dead. Okay. Um, I guess if I just, like, try to kill any small enemies, because the only reason that happened is because... I got ganged up on by a second enemy, which was able to uh, attack during times where the, the big guy wasn't able to attack. So it was uh, just not a good time for me. But if I don't disturb the big guy and take out any small enemies, I might be able to 1v1 him. Let's say, does a Crucible Knight come back? I was going to say, I doubt it. One of these times I'm going to miss this jump and I'm just going to fall down. I'm sure that happens to a lot of people. Okay, so... There isn't any enemies here before this guy, so we can run here pretty safely. Like I said, I think if we ignore him, because he, like, didn't pay us any mind at first. So we should see what other enemies are coming to attack us. Maybe something in here? Yeah. You. Yeah, I was like, you're not even strong. But anything to sort of break up the, uh... The attacks of, of, like, my attacks and... Oh, what is that? You're just banging your shield, huh? Ooh. No. But yeah, uh... Anytime that they're breaking up attacks... Breaking up my attacks and as well as... Making it so... Oh, but... Oh, yeah. That is a little... Looks a little glitchy or something. Interesting. Um... Y'all know what I'm trying to say. He tries to hit me, and then a smaller enemy hits me, and then it just kind of, like, goes back and forth like that, and it's just, like, not a good time. I'm not willing to let this go, though. Ow. Is this just, like, is this place just crawling with, like, Crucible Knights? That is pretty bad. Oh, whoa, 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 I got a thing. No, 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 let me get the attack. You are so much weaker than your, uh, than your sword brother. 
Oh gosh. Oh dude, I'm so good at dodging. Okay. Please don't push me off the edge. Push, please don't push me off the edge. There we go. I'm so good at this game. I wasn't as close to the edge as I thought, but it definitely could have been dangerous. Level 6 Sovereign Smithing Stone. Level 5 Regular Smithing Stone. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so there's ways through the door. I want to see what's back here first. I want to try and clear out as much of this as I possibly can. Hidden path? There's no... Actually, I do think I see a path behind the waterfall. Interesting. Thankfully, you guys all die in one hit. There we go. Okay, okay. So, what are you hiding back here? A level 4 smithing stone. Okay, cool. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. There's also you. Ow. Come on, do this again. There's so many, like, little nooks and crannies in this place. Which is very interesting. Hello. You're banging your shield. I'm stabbing you in the back. A rune arc. Get some... Get my healing back. Oh, a golden centipede. That was one of the ingredients for a holy pot. Very cool, very cool. There's another way back through that way. What's up this way, though? Uh, no enemies. Oh, hello? Alright, well, I got a gesture. Alright, so this... Seems like that might be the way, way forward. So let's see what's back in these other rooms. It's just this one room. This one seems like it will come to a dead end. So we should check out what's inside and then proceed forward. Uh, oh, right. This goes this way. Okay. I don't know which is going to be the proper way forward. This way or the other way. But I think it'll be easier for me to remember that the other way exists than uh, the other way around. No, come back, come back, come back. You're gold. Why are you gold? What does this mean? Order healing. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's an incantation. What does order healing do? Like, what does that mean? Uh, alleviates death blight buildup. Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Wow, and we could actually use that if we had one more intelligence? Ah, I will remember that if death becomes like a um, a a thing that we continue to encounter because I don't have a great way to deal with it now. So having an answer to it would be really really nice. Level thirteen golden rune. Oh my gosh, I don't know how high the the level runes go, but like they went a lot higher. I thought they were gonna max out at like nine, maybe like ten, and that's like the second one above ten that I've seen, uh, which is pretty interesting. So, I don't know how many runes they give. Probably a good bit. But I'll hold off on consuming them until a later time. Alright, so let's go forward this way. I'm assuming this way must be the boss. If I can get close to the boss, that would be nice. If I could, if I could get to the boss uh, to end this episode off, that would be the, be the best thing I can do. Alright, so minor spoilers. I definitely think that this is the boss. Uh, so, in that case, I think we're going to wrap this up here because I don't think I will be able to beat the boss first try. I might be wrong, but I just don't think so. So, hopefully y'all have enjoyed the rest of Nakron. After we fight this boss, there will be nothing more uh, for us to do in Nakron, and then we can move on to Dragon Barrel, uh, as promised in the last episode. So, that is the plan of events. Uh, if there's anything else that uh, you think I missed or that you have for you know to say to me, let me know, and I will see y'all in the, in the, on the next time. So, uh, till then, peace out.